are still watching Ways, and today is National Fruit Cake Day in the United States. Um, fruit cake lovers of all ages observe National Fruit Cake Day each year on December 27th. Some like to doctor theirs with rum, like EC, brandy, or their favorite choice of whiskey. <laughs> to observe National Fruit Cake Day, simply enjoy some fruit cake. How many of us are fruit cake lovers here? We mm -hmm. are. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. So you're I like my sister. It. I love my sister. I always pick out all of those things. My oh, sister, if it is not, it's quite if tasty, it's nice. Once the cake has anything coloring, she's not eating. Mm -hmm. And it's like that with her, her husband and her children. Oh, oh, fast oh, already. Really? Yes, <laughs> they don't like any. So once you buy all those ceramic oh, cake, wow. you've lost them. It. it has to be sponge cake, simple and plain. They ah, don't like. That's dry. <laughs> not even this fruit cake. <laughs> not this one, Abby. Mm. This is this is very scrumptious. But you know, I know, I know, I know people like Isi will soak it very well inside that room. And Jean, <laughs> <laughs> why are you making me out to be an alcoholic? I love it like this, sweet and savory. But with and some rum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Isi. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, today, today it was reported that um, Commonwealth. Um, doctors um, task federal government on improved security and welfare, mm. basically. And this has to do with the fact that um, the Commonwealth uh, Medical Association is looking for um, uh, security on the highways because they lost a colleague of theirs recently to um, 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 a spate of killings by um, a group of people um, who was, his name is Professor Jerome Elusia, and he was laid to rest. Um, while well, he was being laid to rest was when they actually talked about it. And they wanted a situation whereby the highways would be more secured and no more killings and kidnappings of people because this man was just on his the professor was just on his way back from where he was evaluating students from Ambrose Ali University during um, a, a, an exam mm. so it's something that um, the government needs to look into and and curb if there is anything they can do and curb the fact that people do not feel secured on the highways anymore. You know, it's so anymore. painful. I don't it's know. Do you, do you guys do, do you do road trips at all? Mm -mm. You see, that's the thing. We do. It's we so, do, it's so now painful. now everybody's scared. Guess what? When I was growing up, I don't know who I was talking with sometimes last week. When I was growing up, my parents, we used to do, because we know we're from Edo State, so we live in Kaduna. We used to do road trips. Mm -hmm. Then I now, I now got married to somebody that loves the road. road. You know, I remember when we were, when we were in Kaduna, when we finished our wedding, we drove just two of us. We drove all the way to Lagos from Kaduna. Yeah, well, I mean, but yeah, because I mean, it's so it's fun. Mm -hmm. You get to appreciate your country. You get to appreciate the diverse culture, different kinds of you know. When you do road trips, it's just like I told myself when I went to Europe. I said to myself that I'm not gonna do anything. Maybe if I want to go to a different state, I won't do anything like flights anymore. Because when you are on the road, you would appreciate. The same thing when I went to the U.S. When I did road trip, I appreciated the U.S. more than when it was just flights to Atlanta, flight to New York. Do you understand? But so, road security is one of the biggest things that can even attract tourists. The, the one that they said they want to boost the economy. Dubai. Do you understand? Because, because you, you can actually go economy. on a road trip in Dubai and find your, find a group of families seated in a, part, in a particular yeah. area, clustered together, myself and they're having a picnic in the middle of the highway. It I is said here. myself and uh, my sister. And men face. just come and car, take you, you away. You can't even just be there comfortably because you don't know you what's scared. going to hit you. I said exactly. myself and my sister, Faith, we traveled in the US mm. from Atlanta all the way to Texas. Mm. 13 hours journey. Road yes. Mariam, no one single pothole. And guess what? We were doing our Nigerian mentality. Mm. When we stopped, instead of us to stop, we saw clearly written rest area. We didn't branch. Oh. <laughs> we were saying, ah, rest you area, are... rest area. We were stopping at filling stations, gas stations to, to go and use the, the rest restroom. Room. So on our way back, we're not saying fit. Why are we doing like Ijebu people? Mm -hmm. Let's even enter this rest area. Ijebu people the... are coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's even enter this rest area and see we like, what it's it is all really... about. Exactly. Mariam, I was in shock. This is in the middle of nowhere. Mm. It looks so much like a five-star hotel. It looks so clean. The toilets were so clean. They had a play area for children. 
these are people that so when they go federal government is saying they want to attract tourists they want to do this there are so many things that are not tied to on the what we the have way. today yeah. what we have today there is so much insecurity and people are not feeling safe in the country and the roads so, are bad and the you roads, know, roads are so bad many roads are terrible <laughs> Oh, will help us. We'll probably look for the minister. Come on, let him tell us what he's doing. We, we should. We should. <laughs> minister what did you, and house. Ah. <laughs> what did you find in the news for well, us? Well, people have started using paracetamol to boil their meat, to make it soft in a very quick or short period of time, to save cost of gas or petrol, and also not to keep their customers waiting. Maria, when I saw this story, hmm. as in, hmm. my heart was in my mouth. Because hmm. like, my husband was showing me this story I was like, yesterday. is there an end to these things? It's just, just but when tell you us, what you've exactly, it how do they use it? Because They just put it in, I think they just empty like a whole sachet of paracetamol. Mm -hmm. You know, paracetamol is like 15 naira, so they just empty the whole sachet in the pot, mm -hmm. and then it makes the meat get ready faster. And, wow. and then I read that if you put the paracetamol ordinarily when you're drinking it, it's like a painkiller, so it doesn't have any effect. But, but when you're mixing it with heat, and it becomes tomato, acidic and, and pepper, it is, and it is straight very, to your liver, be your kidney. Which that one? anything is just your liver, it will affect fat because that's what filters all of these things. Oh my goodness! You know, so we need to be careful where we buy our food. What so we is eat. it a crime now for us to go to one mama buka to go and eat food? Apparently, before it was water and typhoid that we were worried about. Now they've at least we can to control go for that. Our liver. But wait, how do you think the government can even curb this? Because this is actually very we scary. We don't have any quality control in place to regulate people like these, the Mama Buka, the Papa Buka, uh, Kalaba Kitchen. No, we don't have such regulations in place. And, and even, even if, if we, we do, do... Okay. Thank you. And even if we do... I feel like even if we have such a place... I don't know. The country is not yet in a place where you can shut down if you have your money if you know your way you they only shut down people, people that they feel that uh, because they shut down quillocks now it's been shut yeah, down I said for that, a while that the quillocks owner offended somebody <laughs> that's what i'm saying because, because i mean they're saying because it's causing traffic that's Where have we a, been having traffic that's a club that's not my mabuka no i'm saying <laughs> no you're saying that whether they don't shut down i said they shut down but they only okay. shut down People that step on. You need to offend step on. When, it, when somebody <laughs> big toe, they shut it down. So for instance, if maybe a, a president does mm. have eats from the restaurant that they use paracetamol, mm. they will shut it down. <laughs> but if we go, huh. It's sad. All right, so for me, I found a very, very sad story. Um, a pastor, um, and his, his name is Pastor Gabriel Dia, and his two kids, they drowned. You know, it's very, very sad. I mean, they said he was, they, they went on holiday in Spain, Costa del Sol. Um, um, the young daughter, they noticed that the nine-year-old was in the pool, she wasn't coming up, and the 16-year-old and the, and the father jumped into the pool. So later they found- The, the father tried the, to save them. In trying to save the daughter. They were deep, both of them jumped into the pool trying to save the daughter, and when they tried to save her, um, they, they also, were God, they were submerged in the water. So they said the wife was, in fact, that's the one that pained me the most. The wife was just trying to stay calm with the older daughter oh my to goodness. see, because the lifeguards, they were trying to Jesus. resuscitate them. The wife was, Is it there? A she was there. They went on a, a family a, holiday. A, 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 it's a, a pool. In fact, I don't know whether there's a picture, because I told the, my producers to show the picture. It's a swimming pool. Me, I thought it maybe it was like a beach or something. Did they it's hit a pool. Head inside so the pool? My questions, I had too many ground. questions, because they were saying that, is it possible they were conspiracy that is it possible that the water was poisoned but they said the other daughter was inside the water with them so there was nothing like but that the pools that that's around. what i'm saying where, the, where were the lifeguards when all of these things were happening? happening because they said they found the girl's um swimming cap in sucked into the pump inside the pool so it was it that the, the thing sucked i don't even understand the what, mystery behind this but the authorities in spain they've reopened the pool they said that they've done all the necessary checks that it wasn't really the pool it was just a clear case of this is just an accident that happened an accident that took three lives. There oh. must have you know, been so it's some a very sort of sad. The man was sad. two, his daughter, so his son, and the Nigerian, and the nine-year-old. They are Nigerians, but they oh. live in the UK. They live in the UK. He's the pastor with Redeemed Christian Church of God. So it's a very oh. sad one. I'm sure they just wanted to wind off and I'm have fun. This just just understand thinking how this woman is going to feel. I'm the telling grief. you. And today we're talking about oh loss goodness. because you know there's different stages of losses. Mm. 
this one is actually traumatic. You know, so, I just to come out of I'm, it will I'm be shocked it will, how it will take the grace of God. It, her being calm. Hmm. Is it no worse? She needs to be on calm because she needs to let it out because she, she cannot she, keep She should be hysterical kind of because it's better for her to express it well, than it's to not have to take it in. Well, people deal with our, grace differently. Our guest, Absolutely. Excel Adele, will join us after the break. Maybe he has a few things to share on this. So we'll <sighs> see you right after this break.